in a week where the government set out its plans to block channel crossings. For the first time, we've traced the journey of one boat and seen the challenges the authorities face to stop smugglers. On the 20th of July, this boat brought 13 people to shore. Tracing dinghies is extremely hard, but this one had two distinctive features. It's bright orange colour and a registration number on one side. We searched through hundreds of boats online using reverse image technology that helped us to find similar pictures. Eventually, we found an advert for this boat with the exact same registration number. It was sold 170 miles from where it landed in Dungeness at this boatyard in Holland. So you see if you have a rather big yard, eh? eh? Hans accepted £600 for the dinghy a few weeks before it crossed the channel. He says the boat was brought by a couple in their mid-30s, believed to be from Belgium, but the man spoke a language that he didn't recognise. It is strange, it is very strange if you see your boat which you sold a couple of weeks ago and that you see him with, with 13 people. Then you say, OK, once again, terrible. And I'm counting 13 people, it is rather much. Hans didn't want to give us the names of the buyers. He's afraid of the repercussions. And you are looking for a boat? It is the third time in two years that boats Hans once owned were linked to immigration crimes. Here in 2019, he sold a boat to men he believes were Syrian. He helped them load it onto a van before they left without paying. Despite the CCTV released by Dutch police, they never caught the perpetrators. It's a lot less joined up than it was when I was there. But everybody's got their own their own problems. It's their it's priorities that that's the the issue. What we um, what we need is the Europeans to all work together on this. But I don't know whether that's likely to happen or not. The buyers of the boat that we found in Kent gave an address in Antwerp, nearly a two hour drive from the boatyard, which is another two and a half hours from the area south of Calais where boats often launch to cross the channel. This is the exact spot in Dungeness where the boat arrived. 13 migrants were on board and they're likely to all have paid about £3,000 each to be taken across the channel. And remember, the boat itself costs less than £1,000 to buy, so smugglers are making a big profit. It is just one story, one boat that made it to Britain. And so many of these cheap dinghies that enable illegal crossings will move round Europe untraced before being left abandoned in Dover. Ali Fortescue, Sky News.